guys, welcome to another episode of Free to Play Weekly, your show about free to play online games. In this week's news... So, remember when Sega said that their upcoming free-to-play multiplayer action RPG, Fantasy Star Online 2, would be a Japan exclusive title? Well, guess what? Sega lied to us. Turns out that a large number of American and European players that stormed the beta have changed Sega's mind. They announced that Fantasy Star Online 2 will be localized for both Europe and North America and will be released sometime in early 2013. Fans of the original can jump in and continue their adventure on the PC just over a decade after the original title's release on the Dreamcast. Alright, now I know a lot of you have been waiting for this next announcement for a really long time, so get ready. Are you ready yet? I don't think you're ready. But anyway, Perfect World Entertainment has announced that the closed beta for Raiders will begin on August 8th. That's about three weeks away, you guys! Not only can you register to be part of one of the most anticipated free-to-play betas of the year, but registering also gives you a chance to win an all-inclusive trip for two to PAX Prime. But of course, it just wouldn't be right of me to stop that story right there. MMO Bomb fans are the best fans out there, so of course we scored as many beta keys as we could get our hands on all for you guys. Head on over to the website and be sure to follow us on Facebook so you don't miss it the minute we post those keys. Stay tuned for more info. So, Soul Captor's super secret closed beta is apparently over. And by super secret, I mean that anyone who wanted to play was able to get right in. Gamania Digital Entertainment considered the beta such a success that they went ahead and moved the game to the open beta phase, so anyone who wants to play is once again welcome to join in. So basically what I'm telling you is that before, you could play Soul Captor, and now, you can still play Soul Captor. I don't get why it was called a closed beta either, but anyway, this upcoming free-to-play soul-collecting MMORPG will be available through Game Mania's Bean Fun platform. All players will now be able to experience the two previously locked classes, participate in some new events, and win some great prizes. Starting now, the official release version of the online game Brick Force is now live for all Brick and Shooter fans. About 1 million registered players are already experiencing tons of new features. Thanks to the new item upgrade system, weapons and outfits can be enhanced for the first time ever. Additionally, the completely redesigned interface offers visual as well as functional improvements, and the game mechanics have been completely optimized as well. As we talked about last week, the trailer for Big Point's upcoming free-to-play browser-based MMO, Game of Thrones Seven Kingdoms, was released at the San Diego Comic-Con. If you happen to miss it, head on over to MMOBomb.com to check it out. Through a partnership with HBO, the game promises to let players experience epic moments from the TV show. Slated for an early 2013 release, players will just have to wait and see if the impressive browser screenshots will translate into an MMO worthy of this very popular IP. I'll admit, I myself have my concerns about this title, but pretty eager to see how it'll turn out. EA BioWare has announced that Ultima Forever Quest for the Avatar will be released on the iPad and PC later this year. Fans of the classic 1985 Ultima 4 will be thrilled to hear that this is a remake of that popular title. And you can look forward to returning to the series with this upcoming free-to-play action RPG that will feature cross-platform play and BioWare's trademark storytelling. But if you're looking for more information on this remake, the official Ultima Forever website won't really help you out too much. All we know is that you'll be tasked with saving Britannia as either a mage or a fighter, and that you can fly solo or group up with friends. Other than that, the only thing the official website's good for is signing up for the beta, so what are you waiting for? Head on over, join the waitlist of other people who don't know a ton about the game. Perfect World Entertainment is finally ready to expand the Rusty Hearts universe with their upcoming expansion, Reborn. This first expansion for their free-to-play MMO brawler will add tons of new content including new weapon focuses and skill set for each character, a new pet system, ranked PvP with weekly rewards, and a laundry list of other features. 
If you haven't played Rusty Hearts in a while, it might be time to jump back into it because this new expansion drops on July 24th. And the video of the week is... Oh, can we? Uh, if you want to, I think that should be saved for another episode. But if you want to go ahead and tell them, we'll tell I them. mean, while we're on the subject of Prim Sturbs... <laughs> Is, is, is somebody going to listen to this show and get you in trouble? You know, at this point, I it would probably be better if she found out. You know? <laughs> Come clean. You never know. Maybe right, she'll I, forgive me. I'm going to tell it then. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Kaylin, you, me, Brim, a bunch of us were playing uh, Star Wars, the, the Old Republic, and we're all on vent. And this was back when Star Wars was fun, like the week it was released. Um well, that wasn't bitter or anything, was it? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, <laughs> so we're we're all on vent, and Brimman had a rough day at work. You know, we have that every once in a while. I just wanted to come home, make himself a sandwich, sit down and MMO for a little bit. So, Brim, you went and you made yourself that sandwich, right? Looked delicious, right? Uh, looked fantastic. Uh, but then, but then he turns around, and there's a there's a surprise on the the kitchen floor from one of the dogs, I guess. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> Brim's got a take care of the dog business and he's already not in a good mood and so he's grumbling while he's cleaning this up and the dog decides that's a pretty delicious looking sandwich on the counter there and uh while he's brim's taking care of the dog's business the dog takes care of brim's business and and eats your sandwich huh oh yes (laughs) so at at this point this isn't even the derp yet <laughs> That's the sad part. I know. At this For point, more normal people. <laughs> if you know Brim, or you've ever hung out with us, or you listen to the the free to play cast, you know that Brim can get worked up when he's got an opinion or he's angry about something. And so at this point, he's just I just picture him seething. <laughs> he's in this awful day at work. His sandwich. Not only did he have to pick up after the dog, but the dog went ahead and ate his sandwich. So he's. I just see him like sitting down at his laptop, banging his password in, <laughs> trying to put in the authenticator. <laughs> now, what Brim doesn't know at this point is that the numlock key is on. <laughs> so his password doesn't get accepted. <laughs> he doesn't know if it's a password, if it's the authenticator. But that's it. This is the last draw. <laughs> That, yeah, that was it. That was that was the turning point to where rage just took over in so, this household. Brim chucks his authenticator. It slams into the laptop screen, totally destroys the LCDs on just half of the screen. So he's got that lovely ink leak on one half of his screen. But he could see everything on the right. So he still decides he's going to play Star Wars, and he orders a new screen and everything. He's got to wait for it to come in. So he's playing with for days with just the right side of his screen. He's the easiest person to kill in PvP because you know he's going to strafe to the right. <laughs> <laughs> just sneak up on the left. He won't see it coming. Because he can't, he can't go to the left at all without not seeing his character. That's not even – that's the derp, but that's not the best part of the story, Kalen. I don't know if you know this part. When Brim's lady friend uh, is wondering what happened to the laptop, not very happy about having to fix this and spend a couple hundred bucks. And so Brim, in his infinite wisdom, decides, you know what, telling her the truth on how this got bashed with an MMO authenticator <laughs> probably isn't the best idea. Oh, no. Yeah. So instead he tells her that one of her textbooks fell off the shelf above the computer desk. And landed on his laptop, cracking the screen, thus making it her fault. <laughs> oh, he didn't. He did. <laughs> oh, Brim. <laughs> I would still be able to play. There was no way if I told her that I chucked in the authenticator at the screen and broke it, she was going to let me play. <laughs> That's true. Your gaming days would have been over. That's what I'm saying. Somehow she might find the link to this show. I don't know if it will show up in an anonymous email or Facebook message. Uh, uh. <laughs> and the game of the week is F1 Online The Game. F1 Online The Game is an online racing and management browser game developed by Codemasters Racing Studios. F1 Online The Game combines intuitive top-down racing gameplay with an accessible management game. Players compete in online multiplayer races across a variety of game modes, including Grand Prix events, championships, and quickfire challenges and time trials. 
That's all for this week, but thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And until next week, you can check out mmobomb.com for more free-to-play action.